Yes, we like that. But we don't know yet. Because when you find oh things goodness. like this, we got the locker, you gotta wonder. Okay, there's more in here. Oh god, so much jewelry. Jewelry! I mean, I'd like to say Ooh, maybe. that is all. Oh, but it's no not. way. That's, uh, what do you call ostrich skin right there? That's very expensive. This is 14K. Oh my god, honey. This is 14K These right are here. all high end pieces. Let's don't let anyone see this. I'm nervous now. Oh my god. Okay, guys, we're just trying to contain our excitement because there's literally like someone right stinking there. We should be hooting and hollering if that's gold. Oh my lord, this is gonna be <laughs> crazy. But these is a Louis. So let's see if there's. Oh my gosh. What the heck? These. <laughs> Digital something, trash, electronics, charger cables. Yes, we like that. It's mostly quarters too. That's that's a few bucks. Where should we put that? Receipts. Receipts from stuff she bought. Wow. Home goods. A lot of home goods. Uh, I'd like to find what goes to this. Louis Vuitton. Hmm. That bag, yeah. Now I'm gonna go through this box. Yeah, we're gonna have to be very careful when we go through this locker. What's this? It's a little hard drive. Great. Where's all the little electronics you have down here? All right. Let's look at this. This is a nice bin. Okay. Body Self bronzing. Tanner. A lot of tanning. Seriously, a lot of tanning. Brand new though. Like we could she's sell committed this. to that. Uh, Look all at year, this for the auction. All year round ten. Bare and minerals. Rules. Tanning. Tanning. It's all tanning. Sealed. All this bronzer, moisturizer, body oil. Dude, I am very lonely. So this is all good stuff. Good auction stuff. I love it. Yeah. It's great. Yep. I'm so excited. I'm just getting tired. Whew. Okay, this right here is money. The like auctions that. take a lot out of you. This is money. Medici? One Medici? Yeah. It's French. Taking it back. That's we pretty dope. might auction this one off. That'd be hard to ship it, but... Hold it flat. It's pretty. Freezer bags? Yeah. Okay. What is all this? Well, there's a lot of them in there, too. <laughs> What is this? Transmission gel conductor. Ultrasound and electromedical procedures. What is this, Jim? Can we do a steamer? Mini by Essentials. Oh, this is a. Oh my gosh, um, it's a self tanner. Yeah, it's a tanning These machine. It's expensive. Um, Keep but, all that stuff. But this. Might go in it. This is like that gel that you put on, like when we did the 3D baby sound, you know? Yeah. The ultrasound stuff, so why is that with that? Maybe it goes with it. Conductor? Yeah. I don't think so. Huh. That, that uh, tanning machine might be worth some money. Oh, it's worth a little bit for sure. Back here, you see mostly that furniture. That is super, super heavy. Is it? That's a big... It's a beautiful color. Yeah, it looks like... It, what is this, funk on there or broken? Oh, it is messed up. Is it? it? sucks, yeah. I don't, right, well, I don't know. Let's sell it. With the glass bowl you need, to, don't you? Yeah, that is true. <laughs> you need the glass bowl. And then here's a blender. What kind of blender is this? It looks like a ninja. It does look like a ninja. That looks a lot like a ninja. And this Vitamix. is Vitamix. Just as good. It's big money. Uh, and then this is all, it looks like vitamins. She was like in a lot of vitamins. I think the clothes are going to be... Yeah, it's going to be where we're going to get most of our money, I think, but... But we don't know yet. Because when you find oh things goodness. like this, you're out the locker, you gotta wonder. Right? Yeah. Yeah, that means we have to look through everything very closely. Which means we need to take our time, which is why I didn't want to start with this unit because we have seven others we have to go quick on. <laughs> Empty. 
That is in beautiful condition. <laughs> the box alone is probably worth and the two bags. Huh. Okay, there's more in here. Oh God, so much jewelry. Jewelry! <laughs> Another bag. Oh my God. What? Oh, honey. What is that? It's missing a diamond. Yeah, I don't know. Is it I gold or know. silver? I'm not sure, but. You don't know? No. Silver? Well, I know that, but I don't know if it's real. Yeah. These are pretty. Is it gold or silver? Silver, but I don't know if it's real silver. Look how pretty you this sure is. Sure about that? Doesn't feel like silver to me. Wait, this has a marking in it. I don't think this is gold either, though. This could be gold. This has a name tag in it. That's beautiful. Yeah. JBK. JBK. Look at that. It's not gold, then. Diamonds? Some platinum, maybe? Platinum? That doesn't look platinum, but this kind of looks like white gold. I was, I was hoping this would be, but I don't think so. Well, let's shake. We gotta untangle this and you're good that. Costume. Do you think these are diamonds? Because it looks nice. It looks real. Mm. I mean, I'd like to say mm, maybe. that is all, oh, but it's no not. way. That's, uh, what do you call it? Ostrich skin right there. That's very expensive. This was just in a box with leggings. A laundry bag. Laundry bag. Yeah. Right, well. <gasps> uh -oh. oh my god, honey. Uh oh. Oh my. Oh my gosh, honey. These look real? Okay, hold on just a second, okay? Let me get the loop. I had a feeling. When we found the other jewelry, I had a feeling we might find more. Okay, give me, give me something to look at here. It's CZ, but no marking. It doesn't feel, that doesn't, doesn't feel gold. Cool. This is not. I mean, this is high-end nice stuff. This is not cheap. I'm going to take it back. This is 14K. Oh my God. It's hollow, though. Does that be a yellow? Does diamond? Hollow? No. What do you mean no, hollow? No, it's like a citron or something. Hollow? What do you mean? What do I mean? Hollow? You don't see how light that gold is? It feels like my ring. Dude, this could be a yellow diamond. That is not a yellow diamond, Jim. Well, it fits me, and I'm no, it. no, no, no. It's now mine. Go out in the sun, maybe then you'll realize it. I don't care if it's there's no way it's that's still a... mine. Look at that. This is 14k. Oh my God, honey. This is 14k. These are right? all high-end pieces. Let's don't let anyone see this. I'm nervous now. Dude, these are all gorgeous, beautiful high-end pieces. Oh my gosh, honey. This is 14k right here. Oh my god. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go through this Just and make sure we get all the jewelry out. Oh my gosh, honey. This doesn't say Oh my gosh. Honey. This doesn't say anything right here, this but that's pretty it could still be silver though. Oh my god, honey. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, I'm freaking out right now. This is eighteen K right here. Oh my here. gosh, honey. That's eighteen K. <laughs> we're getting quieter and quieter. Oh, oh, there's someone right over here. There's a guy right over there, so this is 18k. That is weighs a lot. Honey, these are all real. This is real. I don't know. Oh my gosh. That can't be real. Honey, this could be real. In this locker. Uh -uh. That's brass or something. This is interesting. This. What does that say right there? It's marked. 925 China. This is silver, but it's still okay. nice. But look at that. This one. These look nice, babe. Do you see the design in all these, honey? Oh, this one is uh, CZ, so that's a cubic zirconium, but it says TI. Is that, is that titanium? Could be. Look. Oh, I want to see if it's got gold. 925 right here, silver. What about this one? This costume, this one. They're high end costume, though, honey. Mm -hmm. This stuff's beautiful. This is like David Yerman. Oh, I don't know what that is, but it's plated. That. No, those look gold. 750. That's gold. I think that's uh, 750. I think it's 18K. Oh my gosh, honey. I think that's 18K right there. Oh my gosh. I'm freaking out. Are you freaking out? Yeah. <gasps> honey, can I look underneath? I think there's something more under here. 14K can on I look this underneath? right here. Yeah, we didn't get through it all, but okay. Oh my god. god. This right here. This could be. This could be. Oh my god, that looks real. Oh my god. Okay guys, we're just trying to contain our excitement because there's literally like someone right stinking there. We should be hooting and hollering if that's gold. 
Oh my lord, this is gonna be crazy. Okay, wait, I think this is... What's on here, I wonder? Uh, okay, this is 925, so this is actually silver. It's gold silver. Yep, it's nice yeah, stuff. So it's all right. I was hoping for gold. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it's, it's not getting Annie, too excited. This is in here. I wonder what's in here. A little 2 gigabyte? Maybe her finances? Okay. Maybe something else. Oh my gosh, those look like real di diamonds and uh, stones. Okay, this chain right here says 14K. All right. But this pendant, I don't see a marking on. But it's part of it. It's attached, so I'm guessing no, it's It's not attached, K. it's just a pendant. No, but it is attached. It's, it's, not, it's not attached, is it? Yes, it can't move. It's not gold. Mm -hmm. The stones look real. Mm -mm. I don't know. We'll have to check that when you get home. Yeah. This? Yeah. That's freaking 14K right there. With diamonds. With diamonds. I'm sure that's oh diamonds. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, those look like diamonds. Yeah. Okay, this was all together with it. This was at the bottom. So are these platinum or oh like gold? Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, this was at the bottom? Yes, these were all at the bottom. Here. Are you freaking out right now? Yeah. I had a feeling we were gonna find jewelry. This is 14k white gold right here. This one, 14k. This. I need to look through the rest of the spot. We should be doing this with the phone because the GoPro sucks on the close-ups. We can. This is also 14k. Film These again are. Again, when we get home, have more. Those There's are more. It's all in the bag. There's more in there. Yes, I gotta go through every single. This is both 14k white gold. Right there. Oh my gosh. Oh please. Oh my gosh, it's marked. What does that say right there? Holy moly. <laughs> 925. Okay, that's silver. So what? It's so nice. It's beautiful. Look at this. This is David Yerman, I think. Okay, check these out. Oh, this is right here. Yeah, Judith. Sterling silver. Mm. This is silver? That's silver. Mm, no, this is not going to be gold. Not those. Okay. This one we looked at. That one we looked at. Okay, what about this? You didn't even pull this out? This could be the most biggest one right here. It all doesn't matter. Let's say the weight on this doesn't feel right for gold. It's hard to say though because there's so much of it. I see no markings. But this is gold. That's like that's a thousand dollars worth of gold right there because it is so heavy. Look, it's right at the bottom. Let me show there's where you're digging these out. There's something in here. Can I show on camera where you're digging them out? So people can see this is all coming out of here. There's another bag right there. Yes, I know. I'm gonna go through this two times. I'm gonna make sure no little bags. There's another 925 right here. This is a silver. A gold plate of silver right here. This. Oh my gosh, honey. Oh, oh, Jesus this is crazy. Crazy. <laughs> oh, another one full of jewelry. <gasps> Did you look at this? Oh my gosh. Look at this. It's really silver. It's Judas. 925. These are gorgeous. Yeah, these will sell. Did we go through this already? Uh, I don't think so, no. I just pulled this one out. Okay. This is the silver. I just pulled this one out too. Okay, let me look at that. Hang on. Yeah, this is the silver. We already looked at that. Damn, there's so much good stuff in here. That's good. Oh my gosh, look what I just found at the bottom. <laughs> at the bottom. The earrings. Just sitting there in between pants. Those look like diamonds, you think? Look at that setting. That looks like a real. I don't know. They're awfully cloudy. Let me clean them up a little bit. This is the best laundry basket I've ever looked in. Boy, no kidding. Okay, I'm gonna clean this out and double make sure no other jewelry fell through. JBK on this one. JBK is another costume brand. Okay, I don't know where to put the costume there. What time is it, babe? I don't know. So what else do I have to go through here? Because you just, this is all, I don't know what we've been through. All right, we're just gonna bring this all home at this point. All right, guys, we're, we're gonna go home I'll look at all this stuff a lot more carefully. We'll take the magnet to it. We'll do a little gold testing and I'll make piles and we'll, I'll get you an update as to how much of each uh, piece of jewelry, you know, gold, silver, whatever we got. <coughs> okay, that's exciting. Still happy hour here at Alaka. Hey, look, look at that chair. Got the, we decided we we're gonna take these home, put them in our garage, secure them, because there's just too much money, too much money there. So we gotta get that secured first priority um, there's so much good stuff here just looking around but Gianna's interested in this chair up here the chair I use on my desk is literally falling apart we bought it in the state sale and it's a nice chair but it's just seen its day I'm a little hard on it let me to hold your camera for you, you do that? yeah be careful honey yeah, but it's, they're not getting it on the strip anyway 
I know, but I just want to see it. Look at that. He's the boss. Oh, yeah, that's so nice. What brand is that? It says it right here. Sealy? Like the mattress? Hmm, check it out. Sit in it. Give it a spin. Okay. Such a that special. Yeah. Wanna say anything in your captain chair? No, I don't care about that. I know what you really wanted. You I wanna really look in the bed. The chair. That was all. <gasps> You're getting the cushion dirty with your hand. No, I'm not getting the cushion dirty. I just saw your fingerprint on it. That might be getting it dirty. I see some money. <laughs> Oh my gosh, honey, how can we leave here? What the heck is this? I don't know. What is this? Just a little junk drawer box, huh? I know, but look at that. There's another electronic stuff. This is the battery cover. Old walk-in style. Here's a quarter. Ooh. Look at that. PayPal 1998. That's kind of neat. A pin. I wonder if she worked there. 1997. eBay. In case you guys don't know, we actually live very close to the headquarters of eBay. We live next to the headquarters of most of the tech companies. Netflix, Apple, Google, yeah, I mean, Yahoo. Here in the Silicon Valley. Uh, PayPal 1998. Hmm. All right, Should I get the little ladder and just peek in there? It wasn't as good as it first looked, but that's right there. I think a P.O. box key right there. Ooh. She had a P.O. box because I found a P.O. box renewal letter. What is it? I don't know, home office or something. Oh. But the important thing is that there's all boxes back there, right? It's all boxes, babe. Here, hold that for a minute. I'm just gonna take a peek. Okay. All right. Oh, there's something else on this side, though. A bag, a little stuff. Can you hear? Dude, this is a heck of heavy. It's boxes. I mean, uh, books. There's a lot of paperwork and books in there. Okay, right. I'm gonna let it go. Had enough? Yeah, no. Should we go home? Really. We need to go home and unload this beast because uh, the back seat's pretty full. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what's up, Locker Nuts? We're back at the Nut House, and, and I've got all the jewelry laid out on the table. We'll show you that in a second. I've got it all pretty much sorted out. But we got something to do first. Let me show you what we got. Okay, this box right here was up on the shelf. There's a shelf immediately to the left of the unit against the wall, and we kind of pulled a few things off of there. We didn't go through this, but when Jenna and I went back to get some garbage, we you spotted that. You were kind of yeah. poking around, well, and you spotted that, and what did you see? Well, this is the box that we had, the jewelry box. So I said, oh, there's vitamins in a jewelry box. We're taking this with us, so I can't wait to go home and see what's in it. You told me you saw something else. Well, yeah, a little peek. Okay, so you saw jewelry in there. But I know I'm not allowed to look because I'll get in trouble. All right, so let's see what you got. All right. Okay. I don't know what that says. Someone hit and Yeah, that's kind of interesting. Okay. So it's the same. Looks like the Judith, Judith Ripka. Ripka. Right there. And then, oh, some stuff fell out. Uh-oh. <laughs> I found the Louis Vuitton oh, box okay. already. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. It's another Judith Ripka. Oh, looks my like gosh. It. Right? Yeah. It oh, does. It looks yes. just like another one of the pieces we got. This is gorgeous. Look at that. You guys, this is, it's overwhelmingly crazy, right? Yeah. This is probably Sterling. Sitting 925. here in a beautiful little. It's probably 925 because all the other pieces were 925 with the Judith Ripka. But these is a Louis. So let's see if there's, oh my gosh. What the heck? These are the Louis Vuitton logo. This kind of, I mean, this is crazy, right? Yeah. <laughs> Even if that's not gold, if it's real Louis Vuitton, that's If it's that's real Louis Vuitton, money, right? it's gold. There's no way that it can't be gold. I'm not familiar with them, so I don't know. But I'm just saying Louis Vuitton for real would not put something that's not real gold. What? So you don't see any markings? Let me feel it. It feels like gold. Yeah, that does. Yeah. It's not super heavy, but it's not super light either. They're definitely hollow. Uh, but we gotta weigh these. 
Okay, we'll do that. We'll, we'll check to see if it's gold. What else have we got? Okay. I see something else in there. Yeah, so when I picked up this box, a few things fell out. And <clears throat> as you can see, we'll get a little better. There are earrings. So these look like Judith, too. Oh, mm, this one. Oh, the out. stone fell out. Okay, we're going to have that put back in. Oh. Oh, but you so, put that in. <laughs> We've got a few stones we need to put in pieces right now. And then another earring, which okay. looks like a diamond. Oh, wait. Yeah. Don't we have another yeah, yeah, one? Yeah, we have of the these? other one. We have the other one to that. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Just, we'll go through that awesome. Second. That is gold. That one was gold. This looked like silver right there. Yeah. Okay, what else we got in here? So we got the two earrings, and that's it. Um, okay. Yeah. Oh, let's take a look. We might as well. Um, Net gear? Awesome. Security camera? It's a webcam, probably. And then she had a lot of vitamins, intestinal formula. I'm sure there's nothing else in those vitamins. Bottles, you know. Yeah, I know. The coins these, these are new. Oh, no, uh -huh. silica gel. All right. Wait, let's look. No. No vitamins. Calcium. All right, let's look at this. Let's, let's look at this real quick. All right. All right, guys. Here's everything that we found, all laid out nice and pretty for you guys, so you could see it all in its glory. Really nice collection. We'll start with this right here. This I think is all costume here. There's a couple pieces I'm gonna have to go through and test with the gold kit. For example, this ring right here. There's a few pieces there I'm gonna test before we sell because there's no markings, but um, could be gold or at least gold plated. So some really nice stuff there. This lady has some taste. Over here we've got designer stuff. So you see I've made sticky notes there with the designer names. This is some high-end stuff. This is high-end. So pretty. It's like a snake. That's cool. And these JBK bracelets, those are really nice, right? Yeah, with stones. The vintage stuff's really popular. Look. You think that's vintage? I'm not sure, but the stones in these, I don't know if they're real. They're really pretty. Nice stuff. So that stuff, this will eventually be making its way into our auctions. Some maybe this week, you'll just have to come and find out. Some in future weeks. Oops, don't look at that right there. Spoiler. All right, you already saw it, but this right here is all silver. This tray right here, all silver pieces. Even the gold stuff, this is gold, gold silver. So I think it's gold plated silver, which is um, too bad because this is some beefy, heavy stuff. There's still a lot of silver in there, a lot of precious metal. But uh, in this one too, really heavy pieces. These are pretty. They're stacking rings. You can wear them any way you want, and they're really intricate. Look how beautiful those are. So pretty. Got some really nice. This ring's gorgeous too. The pink stones. If you think you know what stone that is, drop it in the comments. This one's gorgeous. Love it. These are, these are so beautiful. And this pretty blue one. Pretty nice. I think these are CZs. Most of these are marked CZ. So those are CZs, but that's that's really pretty. What about that one? That one I couldn't find any markings on. This one I can't find markings on uh, other than 925 silver. Mm -hmm. This one also I think is marked CZ, but look at that. It's like the... It's real pretty. The rectangle cut, whatever that's called. This tray right here is also all silver, but all Judith Ripka. Judith Ripka. This lady really liked the Judith Ripka stuff. And you can see why, because this is definitely high quality. There's it's gorgeous. some really nice pieces here. These bracelets are beefy. They're very intricate designs, very beautiful. Look at that. Here's the Judith Ripka ring. Yeah, I know. Very pretty. Look at that. The silver is not going to matter so much the weight of these pieces because it is uh, the value is in the, the design. This is some high end stuff. These pieces right here, these bracelets are also all silver. Yeah, this is the one that intrigues me. What kind of stone is that? A pink one. Yeah, I I saw that she liked pink sapphires. I read that, so I was like, gosh, could that be? It's so beautiful. I don't know. This one's missing a stone right here. It might be worth us getting that fixed and replaced. Um, but these are all 925. Nice stuff. Then these pieces right here, believe it or not, guys, this is all 14K. Those four bracelets, all of them 14K. Nice stuff. All these 14K. And look at this. I was actually surprised this one's 14K. And it has like a yellow stone on it. I'm not sure what kind of stone that is, but it's really pretty. It looks like an amber color. 
And That's nice. It goes like this. It's really pretty. So, it's beautiful. And then this tray right here is also all gold. Every one of these pieces has a marking. This right here is 18K, and those two are 18K. Everything else is 14K. We're gonna measure, we're gonna weigh out the gold in just a second to see how much we got, but just take a look at that. This is really neat too, that it's like a brush. Stunning. It's got that brush it's like finish. It's a matted brush finish, it's really pretty. And then these have got some weight to them. These little 18K. All right, and then look at the 14K. Looks like we're missing one earring here, but we got a pair there, this necklace. That's a showstopper right here, the flower ring. Jana likes this one. It's so beautiful. So are these, both of those. I mean, they're all really pretty. <laughs> Is these, unfortunately, ever sees these right here. I got excited about that, thinking they're diamonds, but Still 14K of CZ's got some value. And then the last, but certainly not the least, is the Louis Vuitton. So these are not gold, right? That's just a gold metal, kind of like the Chanel jewelry that we found. They're Louisa, Louis Vuitton, that's what it said. That's the style of Louisa? Yeah. We also found the box and the bag, uh, and so it's kind of neat to have the full, the full package there. Louise Ho Hoop earrings, 715 bucks. Out of stock, too. So Out of stock. <laughs> it's, it's not like you can buy them for 715 if you can't order them. Oh, yeah, that, that's totally them. Dang, those are nice. Woo. That might be a thumbnail right there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That is uh, pretty incredible. Okay, let's weigh the goal. Let's weigh the goal and see how much we got. Yeah. All right, let's weigh this out. We're going to start with the 18K. Start with this piece right here. 12.8, all right? 12.8 grams, we'll add these. Okay, 17.5, all right, that's 17.5 grams and 18K. We are accounting for the weight of the stone. It's not going to matter a whole heck of a lot because what I'm doing here is just trying to get an approximation of scrap value. All right, obviously these are not scrap pieces, right? I think we can all agree on that. These are beautiful, resellable, pre-owned pieces here. Uh, but I like to use scrap as an approximation just for value to say, here's our baseline. This is worth at least that much because that's what I can get for it in scrap. So now we're starting with the 14K. We got 9.3 with these pieces here. All right, let's pause that and then we'll switch over and uh, weigh this in batches, okay? We got 9.3. Ooh, that guy's chunky. 17.6 just for that one ring right there. That is a beautiful piece. Man, that is loaded up, that is gorgeous. And that is 92.6 grams of 14K. Of course, this one I see a lot of stones, a lot of stones, and that is definitely accounting for probably a good portion of the weight. You know, like this stone right here, I don't think is adding that much weight. This is a solid piece of gold. This one right here, I think the stones are adding you know, some weight. You know, they are. Uh, but again, I'm not going to take that into too much concern because those rings these rings are they're just beautiful the stones have value the way they're displayed and designed has value and i think that value exceeds the weight uh as far as the gold prices so all right let's see what we got for the bracelets wow another 56 grams that is incredible all right let's see what we got 175 and a half grams of 14k all right and that is the scrap value i think is around 35 dollars a gram whoa six thousand one hundred and forty two dollars in the 14k oh man can that be right that is incredible all right, then the 18K, 17.5 times $45 a gram scrap. That is $787. Dang. Yeah, let's just say that puts us at about $7,000 in gold alone. Holy smokes. <laughs> Holy smokes. 
All right, 7,000 just in gold, not including any of the silver. There's a fair amount of silver. What's even better is that there's a fair amount of the Judith Ritka silver, which is goes at a premium because it is nice, high, high quality stuff. Uh, we also have a bunch of designer pieces, and then we have a bunch of costume pieces, and of course we got the Louis Vuitton. I, when we found this stuff, I had estimated to Jan, I said, we might have $10,000 in jewelry. I think that's a safe bet because keep in mind when I'm estimating that 7,000 in gold, that's scrap value. Uh, this is not scrap pieces. These are retail pieces. I think we only found like one piece with the stone out or two pieces with missing stones. Everything else seems to be in excellent condition. And that means we should get premium money if we're selling the gold, which we're not, but we are going to sell the silver and all the costume and designer stuff, including the Louis Vuitton. And uh, a large part of that stuff will make our live auction. So guys, if you're not savvy on that, if you don't know about that, let me tell you real quick, we do a live auction on our YouTube channel at, uh, every Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific. All right, that's when it is every week, Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific. Every now and then we do a pop-up auction midweek. So you wanna make sure you're subscribed and you hit the notification bell so you'd be alerted if we do anything spontaneous like a live event midweek. Head over there and check it out. Check out the upcoming live auction. You can watch last week's live auction if you wanna see like how it goes and what it's about. All right, but a lot of the stuff that we're finding is gonna be in the live auction. We only save our best in this locker. This is our best, all right? This is about as good as we find in lockers is this kind of stuff. I'm really excited about it. If you didn't watch the last episode, please go back and do it because the amount of clothes we found is insane. I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say around $100,000 worth of tagged merchandise. That's right. That's right. I mean, that Louis Vuitton piece right here, $700. That's pretty amazing. The items of clothing, four or $500 pieces everywhere. So um, tagged, brand new, designer, high end, insane go back and watch that all right one thing we did find out about this lady is that we do believe she owned a store so early on we found a security device remover and that made me a little suspicious right because we found some sketchy lockers in the past but i don't think it was that nefarious i think that she owned a store and that explains why she had it we can't know for sure but that does help unravel part of the story because uh, she has a very unique name and her name was her store's name we actually found photos of her store the inside outside and we found a bunch of paperwork so uh, very interesting story and we're not done going through it as of filming this uh, we still have a lot more to get through there's a lot in that unit I'm doing my best I bought seven units that day and currently we're down to two including that one all right so I got five units cleaned out the last week and don't forget I got the dusty hoarder unit too so we have a lot of stuff to do and that means I've got a lot of videos coming out including the next adventure which will be out soon it won't be this locker it'll be a different one we'll come back to this one very shortly all right guys but until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Locker Nuts. Sports and beer, sports and beer. Very similar to the other locker I bought. Oh, uh -oh. this is good. Oh, wow. Look at this. It says 2005 collection. I wish they didn't tape that on right there. That is really neat. Okay. All Pez. Oh, oh boy, guys. This is going to be fun. A lot of Pez, a lot of Pez, a lot of Pez. 